Right, here we are. Yeah, uh, Suzuki V Strom 1050. Yeah, just the standard baby. Oh, look at that, it's reminiscent that clock 118 miles till service. Let's get it into gear. Bigger screen than I had when I did the 800. Yeah. Uh, it's as high as it'll go. He's let, he's letting us go. Oh, listen to that engine. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? And what a beast. Uh, same seat height, 855. Um, it feels so much bigger than the V-Strom 800 yeah uh, obviously various rider modes oh, I'll bring you back when we're out of the traffic yeah right here we are stuck at more traffic lights I oh, know I do apologize but what can I say um, what I can say is um, it has got a quick shifter so straight off um, I thought it wouldn't be just the standard model but it has um, we've got anvil mirrors a Game Boy display uh, a car rolling back into us makes me very nervous that these days <laughs> yeah and we're off so this is in a marvellous red colour um, and for me the only colour for Suzuki is blue I know um, blue and yellow preferably yeah I don't know why just makes me think of Suzuki's and we're going a bit quick there Mr V Strom but that big V engine I mean my mate Richie has one and swears by it he's done Ellen all miles on it and I can see why I mean you feel king of the road on it you really do um, I struggle to think that it's the same seat height as the uh, as the little uh, as the 800 yeah but when you see it physically it is much bigger yeah um 107 brake horsepower yeah 107 more than enough for your touring isn't it um and 100 newton meters of torque uh, which is again plenty the screen I'm not getting any buffeting at all from it uh, maybe a little bit round the round the sides just sort of there but that's about it I mean that's just wonderful isn't it I rode the DE and I loved it, it was marvellous. This one has smaller wheels, I think. Uh, don't shoot me if I'm wrong. Um, I do have horrendous weather today, which I don't know why I'm surprised at that because it is winter. Um, we've had horrendous showers and we've had um, wind and still got wind um, but it's nice when the sun's out and it's just nice to be out on a bike let alone a bike like this that is fully capable of handling all the weathers which I guess is the point of uh, 
this video. Yeah. Obviously, its competitors are things like the BMW GS and the Triumph Tigers 1250s, stuff like that. And this holds its own against them. And it's anything from cranking that side winds a bit much, um, anything from £5,000 less. Yeah. I mean, even £10,000 less than some models. Um, of course, there's the Hondas, the Africa Twin. But again, I think the Africa Twin is more expensive than this and perhaps more off-road biased. I mean, this weighs in at 248 kilos, something like that. But we will give it a little go on the dual carriageway and then we'll find somewhere to stop. So yeah, it's a heavy baby and when that 20 litre tank is full, I imagine it's pretty top heavy. But if you're worried about that, you're not looking at a bike like this or even the BMWs or the Tigers or anything, are you? I mean, very smooth and built for doing exactly this uphill dual carriageway all day long. And yeah, we're in the speed limit for now. Yeah. Well, yeah, it goes really well, um, uh, you know, up to the national speed limit. Um, and I know full well it will go way beyond there and still be perfectly <laughs> at home. Yeah, absolutely marvellous. But um, we need to do a walk round. So. I think I know just the place, yeah. Let's get the visor up. We'll get down here. Don't know if the indicators are self-cancelling. The clutch is quite heavy. There's no way around that, but it does have a quick shifter, yeah, which is its saving grace, isn't it? So you're not gonna get tired on a run only through traffic if you're a weakling or if you've got arthritis or something like that well, we'll get down here I think this comes to a dead end and there's somewhere to stop and do a walk around uh, suspension seems absolutely wonderful smooth as anything because this is a bumpy old road here and it has no problems whatsoever uh, yeah with uh, that power and talk you could go anywhere couldn't you anywhere you wanted um, off-road it's gonna be heavy you're gonna need to get in the gym um, but like anything else it's, it's uh, a lot of it is just knack isn't it yeah, this place is perfect, isn't it? So we'll get parked here, I reckon. Oh, I'll put the high beam on. Uh, I find myself doing that a lot with these flickable high beams. Into neutral. Side stand without looking straight over. Over it goes ignition off and there we go let's have a little look at it yeah it's a nice looking bike isn't it i like the look of the v-storm if you don't like adventure bikes you're not gonna like it but there you go 
let's get the other camera out so here we are yeah suzuki v-strom 1050 it's just lovely isn't it i mean if you don't like um like i say you're not going to like the look of it um this one uh in like a candy apple red and black and white um the wheels uh I think it's 19 on the front and 18 on the back so you know how that affects the rake and everything I I'm not sure you'd have to talk to Terry O'Keefe upside down forks um, adjustable on the top manually not electronically uh, the brakes Tokiko what I don't mean anything to me um, but they work just absolutely fine um, This is completely standard screens up as high as it will go. No buffeting for me uh, That engine 107 brake horsepower 100 newton meters of torque that massive tank 20 liters in there. It'll get you a fair way. I should imagine um, And the exhaust well, we've said it all about the exhaust haven't we the big they need to be um, well you can change it if you want um, obviously get all the luggage on um, seat height 855 34 inches same as the 800 uh, quick shifter um, not a shaft drive though unlike the BMW and the Tiger which I guess you know if you're paying between five and ten thousand pounds less you're not going to expect a shaft drive are you um no the dash same as the 800 anvil mickey mouse type mirrors square uh clutch and brake reservoir absolutely fine um and the seat dead comfy yeah i like it I like the V-Stroms though, so I'm going to be a bit biased. The front, big square headlamp. Um, let's have a look. There's a lever there for adjusting the screen. Um, let's just turn it on so you can see the light. Yeah, nice and bright, isn't it? You probably want some crash bars and some spot lamps on it um, for the nighttime riding in winter. But that's just me uh, big hand guards and you get that little oh, what is it it's not uh, anything really is it that just finishes it off a bit underneath this this bit yeah uh, protects the oil filter I suppose but yeah marvelous looking bike uh, tad on the heavy side but beautiful to ride and a bit like a ballerina when you're going yeah Let's get back on and do the senses test. Right, here we go. Let's get the ignition on. Brrr, bing, marvellous. Uh, get the camera set up a bit better. Single touch on the ignition, of course, on Suzuki's. Into gear. Nice solid thud. And we'll get going. Yeah. So there we go. Four. So, we'll get straight on to taste. What does it taste like? Well, you've got a multitude of things here, haven't you? You've got a nice sweet rosy apple. Uh, visor's down because it is raining again now. Uh, but you've also got a cherry sweet or lips, do you remember those lip sweets? Could be one of those. Whatever it'd be, it'd be nice and sweet, but but also uh, last a fair while, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's taste. Smell, well, it's a brand new bike. Smells like a brand new bike. Uh, no smell of oil, petrol, water, nothing just warm metal and plastic yeah um, 
and this hill here is going to just feel like nothing. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Wonderful. Obviously, I'm going steady because the roads are wet. It's got new tyres on. Um, let's give it a little wipe. Um, so to look at, well, I've said it's an adventure bike. It's a big adventure bike. If you don't like adventure bikes, you won't like it. Um, unless you rode one and you were doing a long road trip or something like that. In which case, you might think it's just blooming marvellous and you don't care what it looks like. Yeah. Um, but there you go. Quality to touch and feel. Yeah. Oh, it's just marvellous. A big solid bike. Lasts a long time. Uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating and I think everyone's been eating V-Stroms for a very long time. And so I think that speaks volumes, yeah. Um, then what have we got? Sound. What does it sound like? It sounds like a big V-twin. Now, I had something very similar to this but it was a very, very naughty boy bike, yeah. You'll remember them. The old TLs, yeah. Uh, with a pipe on. They sound <laughs> incredible. And I'm amazed how well they've tamed this one. Yeah. Um, you know, the sound, you don't want anything too intrusive if you're touring dear no so it's wonderful you've got that little bit of vibration feel like I say um, you know it is a v-twin and you're on a motorbike you want to feel a bit of vibration and then anyway I reckon you're on to the sixth sense how does it make you feel well as I said at the beginning you feel like king of the road on it. Yeah, for motorway, long hauls, this is the bike, I think. It's just wonderful. Do you need 107 brake horsepower? Well, apparently, because lots of people reckon that 65, 70 is not enough. And yeah, the, um, the 800 V-Strom is a bit more than that but it's not, you know, it's a good 30 short of this, <laughs> yeah. Um, and at 100 newton metres of torque, you're not gonna have any problem with Mrs. Tame on the back and a couple of uh, big suitcases, are you? No. Oh, just wonderful. Um, yeah, so, you know, you can't improve on things that are th this good. And that's the problem Suzuki come up with every time they produce a bike. They get it right and then they run with it for decades. <laughs> yeah, I know, literally. Oh. Let's just zip through there. Very naughty tame. Um, so it makes me feel confident, comfortable, like I could jump on it, nip up to Scotland, see my mate Grey Wolf, yeah, um, I mean he could come out on his uh, KTM, or I could pop over and see uh, TP, yeah, um, it'd be marvellous, or Blair Review, yeah, get over and see them, have a trip round Scotland, he could Blair Review could go on his NT 1100 um, and like I say most of its competitors 
have an awful lot more money um, and you could do sit there doing the same job and feeling a little bit smug with yourself for saving the money oh, I'm stuck in traffic here and this is fine I mean standing still it's easy to balance even though the wind keeps blowing me every now and then um, it doesn't budge the bike Oh, she's in the wrong lane. So there we go. More traffic lights. But it is an important test, isn't it? Because, you know, we do spend a lot of our time like this. Filtering. I haven't done much filtering on it. Um, I don't think I'd have a problem once I'd got used to it I say it, it looks a big bike um, the figures don't suggest it's as big as it looks and therefore filtering should be just the same as long as you haven't got panniers on but the time comes when you've got to take it back um, and we'll carry on this conversation oh I was gonna say I'll carry on this conversation when I get through the lights uh, but I'm through the lights and I'm almost back uh, my dad always said there's no substitute for CC's and I know exactly what he means and this is a, a prime example this bike size weight power everything is just beautiful um, and ideal for a, a tour long journeys is it a bit much for commuting possibly but you could still do it unless it's a really short commute and then you wouldn't really want to but there you go, let's get round here. It's just so easy. For a great lump of a bike, I mean, 250 kilos, quarter of a ton, yeah. Um, and it, it moves about so easily. What more can I say? Let's get it over here. Into neutral, side stand down, perfect off we go dead easy without bags on and everything of course if you're wondering um, there you go Suzuki V-Strom 1050 in like a candy apple lips cherry gobstopper type red here at Orwell marvellous shop marvellous bike can't go wrong. Ta-ta.